Oh, hi guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess in the last part. We killed the boss in this room, and this part we're going to go ahead and get that item so that we can finish the dungeon. And this item is completely useless, except in this dungeon, pretty much. There's a few instances where we'll use it, but... It's the Spinner! An ancient machine designed to float over land. Equip it with B, and float everywhere! So, now that we've got the spinner, why don't we equip it? Because we kind of need it for this dungeon. Pretty much, it's like a little top. Quite fun. Let's jump off with B, and it rides walls. I think we can get it for one piece of heart, too. And it is needed for a future dungeon to solve one puzzle. I believe, but it's not a hard puzzle. That's a slight bit, so... In fact, it's the same exact puzzle we're going to be solving here in a brief moment. Not through this room. Actually, I actually don't remember what's in this room, so we're just going to go into this room, I guess. How many times do I get saved? How many times do I get saved? Oh, this is the way to the boss key. Oh, I'll get the boss key. And key to using the spinner, jump from wall to wall. Really useful. Alright, well, uh, I assume we're just gonna get off here and kill whatever enemy lies ahead. Ah, you know, we don't even need to kill these guys. What's in here? Piece of heart! Oh, thank you, please. I would like another, sir. Alright, let's. Oh, God, we're not gonna make it. Uh, I don't know how I made that. Probably should have gotten hurt there, but, uh, I didn't, so. I am never a fan of this. Because I always screw up in this little area right here. You have to go the opposite direction that you were originally going. And in order to do that, you have to get in the middle or just glitch your way out, which is the way I used to do it. Alright, so this next room. Crack that skull. How satisfying. Well, let's just use this guy right here. Um, I'm assuming this is the right... No, it's not. What is the right way? Please inform me, my friends, what is the right way for me to go? Ah, it's up here. Oh, and here's where the spinners start to get annoying, because you gotta time it pretty precisely in order to not take damage. But, nah, I took care of that like butter. I mean, I ate all of it, but... Boss key! Go an easy boss key. It's the bug key. We are key. I can't pronounce things. I think there is a way to glitch yourself up to that big key without doing it correctly, but... Because of that, we can actually go face the boss after sitting into this thing and spinning our spinner. And this is the same puzzle we will be doing in the future. Don't mean to spoil it, but... All you gotta do is keep tapping B. It's not really a puzzle. But I guess you can call it a puzzle. Because you get that little theme there. Oh, another thing was the spinner, you can go across the, uh, that stuff, yeah. You can do that. And we're going to need to get into that platform in the middle, but I think it's best to just head up here first, just to make sure that we make it into the middle. Um, well, uh, I guess it's worth a shot to... Hmm. Can we... Perhaps... Okay. I can't believe that works. Spin, 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 spin. Keep pressing the B button. Keep teabagging your spinner, Link! See, teabagging makes fire start. Also, giant spirals coming out of the ground. And we can use the spiral to get all the way up to the boss. And it goes supercharged fast. That's right, we're already at the boss of this dungeon. So, let's see if we can get ourselves a pointless fairy. No. Time to go to the boss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Twilight Fossil Star-Lord! So this guy, as you might have guessed, take out his vertebral column with your spinner. I somehow defeated him extremely easy the first time I faced him, but I typically have trouble because he sends out a whole bunch of minion Stalfos guys in Norway. It's not typically for the best. Yeah, as you can see there. Somehow I defeated him without getting those guys to stop me. Also, he has spinners. I always wonder how I did that my first time, because I took him out in like a brief second. But he's still not a huge problem. This guy is pretty easy. And uh, actually one of my favorite bosses, if, not, if only because he's just an old fossil that Zant resurrected. I just find that pretty cool. But this should tell... Oh god, he keeps bringing up the Stalfoses. We gotta launch again. Ah, come on! Come on, man. Stop putting out those stealth moves. Come on! Yeah, yes! Oh, that is a cheap shot on my part. I'll take it, though. And we've completely destroyed his back, so he's gonna end up like Christopher Reeves. That was the most depressing joke I've made all day. Um, but anyways. Boss fight's over. He's dead, right? All I need to do is grab a piece of hearts and head out to the mirror twilight, and we'll be good. Right? There's nothing else that can happen in this boss battle. I don't know where all the, all the sand goes. But, uh, whatever. Yeah, let's head over here. Should be a piece of heart as soon as we spin this, right? That'd be awesome. I love piece of heart. It's just kind of weird having his dead carcass next to me. Well, I'm going to get my piece of heart. Seems a little bit awkward. Not because I just killed him, but... Whatever. He was dead before anyway, so... Oh, God, no, he's not. Tricking me, man. His eyeballs and his teeth, that's quite creepy. Ah, <laughs> oh, PowerPoint animation. Anyways, second part of the boss battle. In case you can't notice in the background, because he'll be talking... The background music for the second half of the battle is the theme for Volvagia, or Volvagia, or whatever you want to call her, from uh, Ocarina of Time, the boss of the Fire Temple. Just a nice little Easter egg to, to mention there. Only tip I have for this, right when he's launching that fireball, jump out the way. You have to have quick reflexes, especially because you have to knock him against the wall. And then slice the sword that Zan put in his head. Which takes quite a few hits for whatever reason. And rinse and repeat. Pretty simple boss battle. Boss battle. My well, list was really acting up. For some reason, they had spinners, which makes this boss battle ten times harder than it needs to be. But you know what? I like a challenge, so. That seems like a problem. Don't want those spinners up in my house. Shoot me. Shoot me. Unfortunately, on this part, you gotta focus both on his fireballs and the spinners so that you don't get hurt from either. But still, he's quite a pushover. All you gotta do, keep hitting the A button. God, how many hits does this guy take? And, oh, I guess he takes two hits. No wonder we just demolished him. <laughs> he dies so weird. Just watch this.
I just find it odd that he bounces like that. Anyways, now that we finished this dungeon, we can head outward. As well as pick ourselves up this good old fashioned piece of heart. Onward to the Mirror of Twilight. But, we will go to the Mirror of Twilight in the next part. See you guys then. Thank you.